Well, if you're a dog owner, you're probably familiar with toxic blue-green algae and what could happen if your four-legged friend is exposed to it. Well, there haven't been any reports of the toxic algae locally. That doesn't mean every pond or lake in the area is safe for your pets. If you've been on Facebook lately, you've probably seen a story or two about pet owners losing their furry friends to toxic blue-green algae. Without testing, you just don't know how much is there. So you don't know how much the animal would have, uh, have drunk. And it's dependent upon the amount that's there. The celery bog in West Lafayette is covered in algae. And while there's no indication that the vegetation is toxic to pets, according to experts, it's better to err on the side of caution. It's a little difficult because all ponds, all lakes have green algae growing in them. And it starts growing more this time of the year when it's the late summer. The DNR only tests bodies of water that are used largely for recreation or if a water source is used for drinking water. Smaller bodies of water like celery bog aren't tested for the toxic algae regularly due to size. And while there have been no reports of algae locally, some dog owners say they'd rather be safe than sorry. It kind of makes me not want to take them to like the local lakes or ponds. They don't really swim in um, like random ponds and stuff anyway. Oakley doesn't even like the water, but um, yeah, but it would definitely would make me more cautious because I don't know what it looks like. If your dog is exposed to the toxins, they act fast and side effects are noticeable. The dogs will start vomiting and they'll get uh, usually very weak and depressed and that's because of the damage that's occurring to their liver within those first few hours. It's hard to know if toxin levels are high without testing, but the look of the algae can be a good indicator of whether or not it's safe. It looks like ribbons of green in the water, or sometimes it's like thick, like paint growing on the surface of the water, and that's blue-green algae. There's no antidote for the toxins if they are ingested. The only thing a vet can do is treat the symptoms. It's important to point out that the toxic algae are also dangerous for humans.